Love it. All right. We are live. Bye, right, dude. I'm going to make you host. You awesome. Here we go. You are good. All right. I will be here, but I won't be here. So just so you guys know. <laughs> All right. Be good, Chris. All right. What's going on, y'all? Um, hope everyone had a Merry Christmas. All right. Um, about to turn and burn into a new year. And so uh, we're not slowing down with the console calls. We're just going to keep the keep the quality and the value coming. Um, I feel like I've seen, uh, I'm just going to kind of talk for a second uh, to give some people a chance to jump on. But also, in addition to that, I did want to say, like, I feel like I've seen a nice uh, surge, I guess would be the right word, of of listings. And I feel like it's uh, people trying to maybe get in the black for the holidays or break even after, uh, you know, having a spintastic Christmas. Um, are any of you other guys seeing um, some some good pickups and pulls in your area? I'd love to hear about it. I think people are getting rid of stuff they already upgraded. Yeah, they got something new for Christmas and now they're uh, getting cash back on the old old stuff. Like the guy that I got the valve index is getting, I guess, the second one coming out. Mm, so he's yeah. saving up to get that. Yeah, sounds right. And he sends you the PS5 and he'll just tell me probably next week or so. Awesome. I don't know if it'll be the right price, but we'll see. Yeah. I don't see a lot of those in my area, Mark. So uh, let us know how it goes. I love the margins on them and I've had my eyes on them for a long time. Um, but all the ones in my area, if they were selling, they were selling for like eight or nine hundred. Yeah, he said it'd probably be around four hundred. Yeah. No, it's great. That's a fantastic pull. Well done, brother. Cool. Anyone else? Any any sweet wins in the past week? Uh, even though I know probably everybody was a little bit on vacation holiday mode. Bill, you've had some nice pulls with some Nintendo Switches. It looked like any uh, anything recent. Uh, so far now, um, what's been happening is that things are selling. So I took your advice on selling everything piece by piece. Um, yeah. I forgot to post it, but uh, just the dock sold, uh, I think, uh, like two days ago, the dock sold. Mm -hmm. And it came with like a Pokeball thing. So that also yeah. sold for 40 something. Yeah. Uh, and what I like about it was that I paid two two thirty around 230 for everything the mm -hmm. switch the switch sold um for i think around 200 then mm -hmm. everything then and i still have the the joy cons mm -hmm. the the pokeball sold and the dock sold mm -hmm. so that's another that's 290 and then mm -hmm. the joy cons by itself i have it listed for around um like one 120 right now mm -hmm. so that's pretty good yeah dude um, that's awesome so i'm cool. listing everything individually and also the charger is going to be individually too <laughs> yeah bro <laughs> i'm telling you man one piece at a time but it sounds like you're kind of getting a, a feel for the reps in the process does that sound right uh yes yes i'm happy uh, i'm getting um uh the hang of it and i just want to I'll continue and then i'm going to go to phones and things like that yeah right on yeah excellent um so if you're uh whether you're new or uh you know joining us for the first time or if you're uh, an existing uh member of this group uh listen i want to say welcome but i also want to say like the method that we teach here uh when you sell it a piece at a time is you are going to in 95 percent of the time make more than if you were to simply just sell all that as a one-off uh, listing. And so, uh, you know, when you change that approach or perspective, you are bound to make some really good profits. And I was talking to somebody, uh, actually Ricky, who's on this call, but I was talking to him earlier when we were doing an orientation call, simply saying like, when I started flipping electronics, specifically consoles, I focused on 40 to 60%, but what I quickly understood, if I was buying the right bundles and parting them out, I was making 70 to like 100%. Um, and in many cases, I started making more than 100% returns on most of my flips. Um, 
Mark, you want to you want to speak to that at all? Because I know that you, you're seeing some really nice margins and returns on on some of your items sold. Okay, he may not be available right now. Mike. Sorry, go ahead. You cut out. Yes, we can hear you now. Oh. Uh, yeah, 70 to 100 percent is uh, pretty normal. Uh, but like this last fine is probably going to be about 150 percent. So yeah, yes. you never know what you get. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so if you're following the method that I teach guys, um, Hello, you're doing great. And if you're feeling. Hold on a second. I'm not, the... I'm not sure who that is. So let's. Okay, there we go. All right, just need to make sure that everybody can hear. Okay, um, so in in today's call, uh, the console call, we are going to source uh, your respective areas. And I just want to add a little bit of insight about what might be happening in your area. What I'm discovering as I've sourced my city is I am seeing a lot of deals being made available through the reach out method on my marketplace. And so on uh, my marketplace, like I'm just seeing a lot, of, a lot of listings and they're really at a really good price. If you've missed any of the recent calls, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just say this to you, okay? Um, I'm The top items I encourage people to go for are these items within the PlayStation family, these items within the Nintendo family, the HTC Vive, and then these items within the Oculus family. There's also good money to be made in these other items, but the lion's share of what I spend my time making money on, and it keeps me very busy, and it will the same for you, are these specific four items. And so uh, here's, let, let me simplify it for you. If you're looking for, uh, let's say you're searching for a PS4, a Nintendo Switch, uh, an HTC Vive console, the OG console, or an Oculus Quest 2. If you see any of those items listed in your area on Marketplace for like 250 or less, that's a legitimate, I think, item to negotiate for and try to get try to get those items for about $150. Uh, again, I'm trying to simplify this for you guys. If you are able to pull most of those items in a bundled form, meaning it's got the console controllers, maybe a few games with it as well. If you can pull those items for roughly $150, 9.9 times out of 10, you are going to get paid. Again, I can't, I cannot make guarantees, but I can tell you from my experience and from coaching so many people on this, you are going to get paid. I mean, it's just really hard to mess this up if you're doing it like that. Okay. And so uh, I want to encourage you to keep keep doing that. Keep looking for those deals within that pocket. Also, if you missed the previous call, the very previous call, I talked about going over to GameStop and looking at their consoles and their items just to make sure that you feel like you're, you know, doing justice. If you uh, are struggling and you're new and let's say you're flipping PS4s and you don't know what to look at, uh, I'm going to, from now on, refer everybody to the GameStop site because it immediately tells you what everything is. This is a slim because the top is slim. That's a PS4 slim. This is the OG PS4. And then this is the PS4 Pro, right? This is a Microsoft One S, uh, Xbox. Okay, so that should make it a little bit more simple for everybody. Okay, and for now, let's go ahead and let's jump into some zip codes and let's do a little uh, treasure hunt Tuesday, a little ride along sourcing for everybody. Okay, uh, so if you would like to have your area sourced, then please go ahead. I'm going to take the first three zip codes that drop into the chat here. And so go ahead and type those in the chat because I'm interested in seeing what's in your area. All right, Bill, let's go. John, gotcha. Okay, and anybody else who feels inclined to post here in a minute, uh, that's great. Bill is right in one of the most metropolitan cities you can be in. He is right in New York. So we're gonna jump right over to my brother's space. Boom. Okay. And we are not, we're going to source within a 10 mile radius because this is an incredibly metropolitan area. And last time I sourced for Bill, um, there were, there was a lot happening within that very concentrated amount of space. Okay. At any point, guys, if anybody has any questions, feel free to hit me in the chat. 
Likewise, if you just want to speak up and, you know, say what's up, that's totally fine too. And I'm going to put offer up at about 20, a 20 mile radius here, uh, just because Jerome, love it. Okay. And off we go. Okay. So um, let's see here. Before I look up anything specific, guys, I'm always just going to cruise through here. And I know that a lot of you have seen me do this, but there are always new people that haven't. So I'm always trying to be sensitive to both. Uh, so I'm going to just kind of cruise here and see what sort of uh, marketplace algorithm presents for me. Huh. I like this deal already. It's a PS4, 500 gig factory reset with game and they're asking 110 okay it's in good condition it's been cleaned so the fan doesn't get very loud that's good that's really good because usually a loud fan means that there's dust and it's probably been ill kept comes with power cord hdmi controller and one game alien isolation okay so understand this is let's go back to the gamestop site okay let's look at this this is probably an og 500 gig PS4, the basic PS4, right? It's It's got a, a thick underside and it's also got the thick top there, right? So we're looking at, let's see what we're looking at, okay? Let's just do our due diligence here. PS4, uh, 500 gigabyte console only. And it's naturally not gonna, I'm not wanting it to pull up the slim, okay? We wanna look at used. And if it's been professionally cleaned, that's really promising. So the last one of these sold for 180. These prices are still on the upswing for the holidays. And so this one sold for 210 and this one sold for 180 as well. Sorry, my wife popped in to ask me a question, guys. Okay, so enough. that's really promising. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and send you that link and just let you know that that right there with a the game and it doesn't have a controller, but with a the game, they'll probably sell in the 200 range. So immediately, did we discover some found money already? And the answer to that is absolutely. Somebody had a question? Okay, guess not. All right, Bill, so I'm going to go ahead and send you that link. And I'm just going to say offer, if they want 110, offer 100, right? Get as close there as you can to making a hundo on that deal as possible, okay? Um, that's only been posted very short. It's been listed for six hours, so that's fantastic, okay? Let's go over to offer up and see what offer up has going just right from the jump. There's a switch. Are there any games with that? I don't like the price on that, no. I'm going to leave that one alone. There's another Pikachu Switch. Didn't you just sell a Pikachu Switch, Bill? That's the one that had the Pokeball? Yep. All right, how much is that? <laughs> yeah. They want they listed this 20, 28 minutes ago, but they want 275 which is too rich for my blood. But these limited editions sell fast, and they sell for more, and it does come with an extra set of Joy-Cons. That's everything you're looking at right there. So I, I would buy this probably for like 175, not for 275. So I might just leave that one alone unless you're interested. No, that one's expensive. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. I'm going to look for some more switch stuff in your area. Okay. Here's a switch. It's the Animal Crossing. Joy-Con right there, and that's a, I think that's a Fortnite or Zelda Joy-Con. That's a really weird hodgepodge of what they got going on here. Um, this, I think, is a V2.0. Let's go check it out. All right. If you've, some of you have seen me do this. Some of you haven't. You just go to the URL. You backspace and type M beginning. It's going to take me over to the mobile website. 
okay, it is a version 2.0. So that helps me right there. That's a model two. And that way I don't waste my time trying to chase an unpatched switch. Um, but 200 listed a week ago and does it have any games? Looks a little beat up. It does have that. Okay, I'm gonna send you this one and I'm gonna, I'm gonna suggest offer like 120 because that thing looks beat to heck. Um, I don't think they're gonna get 200 for that. The thing looks like it needs Jesus right now. Um, <laughs> what would be the highest you pay on that? Like 130? That's funny. Yeah, I I definitely wouldn't pay more than than 130 on that deal. Um, what's this? Switch OLED. What's this? Members. Okay, so this is a classic classic example. Notice how that these images right here are screenshots. Right, and it just looks like it's too good to be true because it probably is. Uh, that's why it's really important to always pregame the deal. Okay, so I'm switching my screen up here. Uh, I'm gonna skip out on that deal. I just don't think that that's got a lot, a lot going for it. But I want to find one more deal for your area, Bill. Okay, and I know these switches have been working for you, so let's. We're just trying to see what we can see here. Not bad here. I can't tell what model number that is because of the glare and that's as big as that image gets, but that's pretty decent. And usually the split, I think, is this, yeah, this is one of the controllers that splits in half. These usually go for anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. The hot, the, there are some that definitely resell for 20. This guy looks legit. Again, he's been a reseller since 2017. That many five-star reviews posted in the Bronx four hours ago. That's a definite deal that I would I would take a swing at. But again, I would come at the guy with 125. And I appreciate see. it. Yeah, brother. Of course. Um, and you know what? Let's let's look at Craigslist real quick too. Sometimes, sometimes I'm feeling myself when it comes to Craigslist, guys, because I just I know there's I found so many good deals out there that nobody wants to. Nobody wants to mess with Craigslist, man. So you gotta, you got to, like you, you gotta be diligent with this. And uh, if there's money to be found there, like don't sleep on those opportunities, even though it might seem silly to some people like, bro, I'm not gonna go on Craigslist. That's like Windows 95. Um, but truth is I find deals on here all the time. Owner. Okay. Oh, let's see. Switch with four games. Oh, it must be some downloaded. Okay. What's that? I can't tell what that is. It's a Kirby game, Animal Crossing, Super Smash Bros. And oh, the actual Smash Bros. game. Okay. It tells you right there. Okay. And they're asking in 249. 20 hours ago? Okay. Two fifty, two fifty. Several different titles there for two fifty. Let's just do Nintendo. Let's do that. Hmm. This is interesting. got the power cable and the av cable which is important all right uh that's really important it's got madden which is like most even old school football games and sports games really aren't that great but that mortal Kombat for sure uh i wouldn't buy that for that much but i would take a swing and see if they would accept this is a this is a deal. All right, Bill, this is a deal. I would buy this OG Nintendo and I would buy it for 50 bucks with the controller plus the two games. I'd immediately turn around and resell this on eBay for one hundred dollars and, you know, roughly double my profit. This has been posted for 23 days. Uh, I don't think anyone's tried to mess with it, uh, but that's a good like possible vintage flip right there. OK. And Sounds so good. that's 
yeah that's how i get those kinds of flips like i rarely find vintage stuff for like stupid cheap because here's the here's the idea guys anybody that has that is probably like you know an og like they they're messing around with it because that's the games that they played back then or they like the vintage quality of something and they probably kind of low-key know like what it's worth so you just have to be aware of that um you don't find a ton of these for stupid cheap unless it's somebody's like yo my so-and-so died and like that's always like oh lame that sucks but i'd really like to buy your house like i've had that happen and you know um you want to be respectful so anyways uh cool all right, let's uh, let's switch gears here, and we'll go from New York to where are we headed next. We're going to four four zero one seven. All right, over to Ohio. Let's go. Okay, and I'm going to expand this to about twenty miles. John, I'm coming at you. Okay. Good. Yeah. And let's see, John. Uh, hold on a sec. I want to be able to send these links to you if i send them to you in the chat can you just copy and paste on like notepad or a google doc or something well yeah you can do the i'm in the uh are you uh, in the slack group yeah we've talked oh awesome perfect sorry i should have done the search all right there yep. you are boom perfect okay cool uh oh dang look at that that just sold oh that sucks that'd be a that's a sick find right there those are mostly og sports games but bundle that together that's probably 125 150 bucks oh man okay cool um ps4 slam 150 don't play anymore 160 or better no you can't get it for 50 60 70 80 or 90 no you can't get it for 100 the price is 160 which is lame because he listed it for 150. <laughs> <laughs> this guy right here it really loves his price, but now he's he's just nobody wants this thing, and so now he's competing with himself. Um, I'm going to send you that deal just because it's got some opportunity. And how how about we offer this guy 120 and wait for him to cuss us out? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh truer words okay here's a nice rift this is an og rift cv1 very lightly used oculus rift with motion controllers uh it's got the controllers those are good it's got the setup here it's got the data cable right there it's got that remote which is a nice little probably extra 20 30 dollars it's been listed for four days it looks like it's got all the things that you would need to get some good value out of this um i'll show you this one real quick because i I haven't probably sourced one of these with everybody in the group in a while. So the OG is here at the bottom, but that data cable still goes for about <clears throat> 75. The headset for 55, the two controllers for 30 to 35 each and the motion sensors for 30 each. So just understand buying this as a bundle, what well, that's 60 bucks, that's 120 bucks right there. That extra remote, that's um, 140 and then you've got an, like a headset there that's like 75 ish so we'll, we'll just call it 70 and we'll say uh 210 plus like sorry that's the headset's 40 so we'll say um where were we uh 60 60 120 140 200 and then you add in the data cable so 275 gross there um so yeah there's probably about about 240 dollars uh of uh well, after profit, you'd be looking at, you know, $120. So you double your money if you bought this as is. But I'm going to not, I'm going to encourage you not to buy this as is. I'm going to encourage you to offer uh, 75 on this deal and make some really good profit off of this by parting it out. Okay. Nobody's buying these really, um, except on eBay they are. And they're pretty fast movers. Uh, Mark Trucks can tell you they, they move pretty quick for him. So... Let's see. Uh, by the way, when you see deals like this and you go, ah, that's stupid, lame old Nintendo, like never sleep on a deal that has like boom, 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 like so many controllers. If you see something like this with four to six controllers and you can like finagle this deal down to like $75, like you can get paid off of some of the best deals. And also remember what I tell you about, about the actual games that people look to buy. Nintendo 
has kind of the king of franchises in games. So if we were to go back at this, even though this looks like a really stupid deal you'd never mess with, it's got Mario, it's got a Donkey Kong game, and it's got Super Mario Galaxy, okay? So I'm just trying to help you guys see like the riches and the niches, as they say, but um, Nintendo Wii, Super Mario Galaxy, right? So not crazy money, but still pretty good money there. Like Super Mario Galaxy 2 sells for even more, but I, I love games that sell for like in the $20 ballpark or whatever. Um, so yeah, uh, deals like that can definitely have some opportunity. This Donkey Kong game, even as a case like Donkey Kong, Donkey Kong Returns, let's see. There we go. Donkey Kong Country Returns. Let's see what that is. Disc only. Not crazy, but twelve to fifteen dollars. Like you sell a few of those, it can it can make a difference. In that Mario game, so I'm just saying, there's like easily about thirty five, fifty bucks of games sitting right there as extras with the controllers, with the console. That console only resells for sixty, right? But if you could buy this whole deal right here for about sixty five, that would be worth it. Okay. Now, obviously, they don't have it listed at that price, but I'm trying to help you guys see, like, and make the make the adjustments in your brain. Like, even when you see a deal that's like, oh, it's a stupid, lame deal, I'll favorite deals like that and save them sometimes and just wait, wait for the prices to drop. Let people compete with themselves. I won't even mess with it. I won't even message them until it's a little closer to the ballpark of what I want. Um, but I save stuff. Oh, oh, sorry. sorry. No just worries, brother. Down. I, I, a real quick question, um, Matt. Um, what do Go you hit for the it. Button on, on, what do you hit the button that's the, 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 like hit favorite? Where do you find that at? Oh, on yeah, that? sure. So you just bookmark it. Like you can click on anything, and then you just click this right here. And now oh, okay. it's saved, right? Okay. So if I go over to my Facebook now, into my saved items. This is such a basic thing. I don't, I don't think I've ever like, but you could just easily reaccess that. It was just funny. I just saved this deal less than an hour ago and look, it already sold. And I can't tell you how many deals I save and they sell just like, I can't chase down every deal that's out there. Um, which is honestly a little frustrating because I'd like to, but this was a deal I was looking at earlier in my area. That's some crazy, some fire games. And this is complete inbox with the controller complete inbox. That's a good deal. Anyways, I'm going to unsave that now because it's sold. <laughs> um, cool. Let's go back to Marketplace. We were in Ohio. Okay. Um, here's a PlayStation 4 with remotes and games. Uh, the reason I like this deal, it's got some FIFA games here. FIFA games are fire. This is also a white. Notice I talked to you guys about buying items that have distinct color differentiations than the you know the original and certainly this does so let's go look this up real quick because i'm going to probably send this deal over to john here in a second ps4 uh console only 500 gigabyte and glacier white and we're looking at used sold so yeah this one sold for 140, this one sold for 183, 195, 185. Yeah. I like I like the options here. Uh, FIFA games do resell well. I don't know if this is a FIFA legacy edition, but legacy edition games like that resell well. Um, you could get some nice money out of these FIFA games. Um, and so I might bundle a few of them. Let's check out the prices on a couple. PS4. FIFA 23, obviously. There you go. That's brand new though. So let's look up used. And we'll say it doesn't offer me good there. Let's go with acceptable. Let's not get overhyped about it, huh? Okay, pre-owned $35. All right. So there's $35 right there. There's $35 with that controller. There's $35 with that controller. Or you know what you could do? You could sell this controller with this console as distinctly different, like 
like distinctly together because that's how they came and people do like those options they like turnkey options but i do think that there's about by my guesstimation i'd say there's about 280 dollars on the table within this bundle right here that's why i stopped and was looking at this one but i would still offer 150 on this okay, okay. so offer 150 or less if you're feeling saucy okay um yeah i like that Again, I wouldn't have stopped on that deal if I didn't see a good a good kind of game bundle there. Um, let's check out some Oculuses in your area. See what we see. Another OG CV1. Just don't have the room to play or use it. Listed over a week ago. This one actually looks well kept. This looks like it's somebody, this thing is in good shape. Um, and when I find a deal that's like this, I would, I would hit them even lower. I would offer 100. Okay. Uh, sorry, not 150 apologies. Okay. Um, yeah, that was pretty quick. Couple, couple good deals there. I don't know what this is. I'm gonna look at this real fast. Six weeks ago. Must be the headset only. Hmm. There's some opportunity there. I'm not. I'm not sure like what they want for this and why they just have the headset. So I would be inclined to ask. But if they're wanting seventy five bucks, I would say I would literally just offer fifty and see about this because whether that's a sixty four, one twenty eight, or two fifty six, there's there's easily like 50 to like $75 there. So the reason I, I stop on this is it's a simple double your money proposition. Okay. Um, how many of you guys like hundred percent ROIs? Cause you can make them with consoles, probably, um, <laughs> probably some of the easiest money I know of just saying. Okay. I'll take that all, all right. day. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So yeah. Um, yeah, there, there's some really, like, I don't know how it works, but like it, there are different, um, each city kind of has its own culture as to like, almost how it like prefers to list stuff. You'll notice like people will, I think it's that somebody lists an item and then someone checks to see what items are listed for and everyone starts listing items around that. But there's like a, a whole kind of price culture. That's what we'll call it uh, surrounding different items. And some cities are more chill than others. Uh, really metropolitan areas can be great or they can be tough. The Northeast is tough. Whenever I source in Massachusetts for Steven or some of you other guys like um, Jerome, those those are like, that's like difficult because um, people are tight on their price. But Ohio is nice, man. All That's all I got to say. So I would definitely just be very consistent with your reach out methods. Okay. And I'd say the same to all of you. You just have to be a little more, a little more persistent and the areas where people are a little tighter on price. Um, but definitely there's some good, some really good reach out opportunities in your city to found that many deals that fast. Um, just tells me prices are primed for the picking. Nice. So it's har harvest season, John. That's All right. Um, Jerome, let's go back to your area. Back up to the great city of Shrewsbury. Do you have a good Christmas, Jerome? I think that means yes. And let's go over here. No? Okay. Boom. Okay. By the way, I'm probably going to update the price sheets to include some more high-end VR stuff. It is hard for me to pull in this area, but uh, I kind of been coaching Mark through uh, picking up some of it, and he gets a commute into DC, which is a more metropolitan area than mine. So if you live in a decently metropolitan area, I live in Tulsa, Oklahoma. It's a little big city. It greater population of about 1.1 million but it feels like a small town. So it's not uncommon to go downtown and see somebody you know who lives like down the block, which feels weird, but that's just the way the town is. 
Um, but if you live in a, in a much more metropolitan area, like the potential and opportunity for you to find more and more of these deals is wild. So if you find yourself commuting or driving into like a big area, uh, like a Cleveland, Ohio, or, you know, um, I don't know if you live on the outskirts of Boston, Massachusetts, or, you know, Philadelphia, something like that. Like it's probably pretty wild with the amount of deals you could probably find. Um, okay. Let's, let's look and see what's going on around Shrewsbury. That's 30 miles. Let's shrink that to 20 because I don't want to send you home spending all this gas money. Um, Oh, there we go. Hello. Two months ago, this probably sold. It probably sold, but it's worth it's worth following up. Again, guys, it's always pre-gaming the deal and getting a feel for where the customer is. When you read the description, you can find out so much about somebody without ever asking any question. So I expect at this point that you're, you know, being clever enough to do so. Uh, had it sitting in my closet for a while. I don't want it anymore. Price is negotiable. Okay, this person just said, I'm indifferent. Please buy this from me, right? And so I'm going to send that one to... Oh, let's go back over to DMs to Jerome. I'll send that one over to you, Jerome. And... I'm going to suggest you to offer 150. If I if I see these for 250 anywhere in the Northeast, I'm gonna I'm gonna put you guys on game. I'm gonna clue you into them and say, hey, you know, go check this out. Okay, um, for a 128, there's still good money to be made from that. Here's another one for 250, listed three months ago. I'm again, I'm gonna find you a few more, Jerome, but I'm gonna send these to you just in case because I don't know if we've already looked at these or not. Okay. Beep, beep, beep. I'm not sure what that is. It's like a foghorn. Someone driving past the lighthouse. Um, oh, I like this. Okay, 270. Seven hours ago. That picture is trash. Man, but it is a 256. Okay. So... Oculus Quest 2 offer. Hold a second here. Not really sure what's going on there. All right, cool. Uh, offer. I'm gonna I'm gonna say 175 on this. That's about a hundred below ask. Okay. I think that may have been, I think that may have been your device there, Jerome. I don't know what's going on there, but if that clears itself up, maybe for now, just a message in the chat. Um, sound like you were trying to speak to me in binary or something crazy. Um, yeah, two fifty six. Let's see what the two fifty six headset is at right now, because I guarantee you, uh, uh, Oculus Quest two, two hundred fifty six gigabyte. Headset only. Boom. Yeah. Golly. These are great. Yeah, they still sell them for about 200. That's the whole thing for 350. 185 to 200. Yeah. Feeling that. Okay, cool. Yeah. So there's plenty of opportunity there. Even if you buy it at a little over, like around, well, around 200 bucks, yeah, I'd say. Okay. Around 200 bucks. Okay. Yeah, I'm about to come up on right now so I can, um, I can't hear the speaker though. Jerome, can you hear me? If you can, type, type yes in the chat. Can you hear me? Sorry, I think something's up with this stuff. With his uh, laptop, maybe. All right, we'll see. I'm going to keep sending my boy deals. Okay, yeah, can, can you hear me now? Yeah, man, we can hear you. Okay, great. I'm sorry, I just got from out of the car. Oh, okay, no worries. 
All right. Um, okay, where were we? Uh, we were still sourcing your area. <clears throat> and so, oh, look at this. Hey, oh. Maybe have around everything here will come with the original box, 250. Man, I hadn't seen one this good in your area. I got to send that to you, bro. Uh, list two weeks ago. Okay. Offer 150 on that. 150? Okay. Yep. And that's for HTC Vive original. Okay. I mean, I'm buying those for about 150. So that's the very best price I've seen in your area, period, on one of those, probably. Yeah. I mean, you'll get a hundred. I right now these are selling for 120 a piece. This is called the base station. It's the sensor that picks up part of the game. These are the kind of golden nugget. Um, I just sold a headset, no cord for 75 on eBay yesterday. I'm shipping that off today. Um, these are selling for about 75 to 80 together. Okay. Uh, and then let's see. Oh, then you've got oh, the link box. Can you hear the me? Link, the link box is like right here, and that's selling for me for about 35 to 55, depending on where you list it. I sold my last two one for 57 on Mercari and one for 35 on uh eBay. So, yeah, there's plenty of plenty of money there. Um, you know, still double your money on that deal easy. Okay, and let's go over here. Let's look up. Uh, let's look up some Nintendo switches in the Northeast. Let's see what we find. Okay. Nothing. Nothing super crazy there. Well, let's see. Let's look at this. This is a Switch Lite, though. Yeah, Switch Lite. Everybody knows the Switch Lite is a full singular unit. The Joy Cons do not detach like the normal ones, so there's no separate console from the controllers. And so you don't want to mess with that unless you find it for a hundred bucks or less, or if you're negotiating it for a hundred bucks or less, they sell for about 125 to 140, right? So be wise in how you approach that. Let's look over here. Hey, Mick, you days ago. Yeah. So um, let me go over to the sheet here. The Nintendo Switches, there is an item called a Switch Lite, and I'll show you here on GameStop. Uh, all right, so this is the switch, and you can tell like it's different because the Joy Cons detach. You can take these off, and you can just have the console alone. But if you have an item like the one, I'm going to come back to this in just a second. Uh, like the one we just looked at, this one. These Joy Cons don't detach; they are stuck to it. It's a singular unit; the whole thing comes as one. Okay, and these resell for about. The gray one about 115 and the colored ones for about this much. And then there's an exclusive that you can find sometimes that resells for about 175. So I'm encouraging people to buy these for, you can see the ballpark amount here. Okay. Uh, that's with the charger if you can. Okay. 75 would still be a decent deal, but um, I wouldn't even mess with any of these if they're over a hundred bucks. So if you upsell anybody and they're like, yo, I got a switch light come at them with $65 and see what they say. And that's, where, right. that's where, I, that's where I would start. Okay. Gotcha. Um, yeah. Cool. Okay. <clears throat> um, where were we? We we're looking at that switch here. Boom. This was listed three days ago in wound socket, Rhode Island. Is that close to you, Jerome? Um, that's about a wound socket. It's about an hour. Is it? Boo. Yeah. I don't, I don't like that, but here's the, I can't tell if these are, white joy cons or not this looks like a weird this is like an og dock but it looks like new joy cons i can't tell um and i'm not gonna make you drive an hour like i'm not can't be doing that to people uh let's go over to facebook nintendo switch Yeah, there's a, oh wait, that is the Pokemon Switch Lite. Just for example, this is the Pokemon Switch Lite. You can tell everybody see that, that cool, like two Pokemon figures for whatever reason. This thing sells for 175 to 200. But you always got to be leery of people that are asking for eBay prices on secondhand marketplaces because that doesn't happen a lot. 
here's a banger. Boom. I knew we'd find one. Just take some persistence, y'all. I want you to know, like, me being on these calls, I'm not doing anything sexy, y'all. I'm doing the very same, like, kind of boring, consistent, regular tasks that I've done for the last three and a half years of trying to find video games, right? And I think some people, you know, they join groups like this and they go, oh, man, yeah, let me, you know, and I, but I don't know of many methods where you have to work, where the work is still this chill and simple, right? All you need is a laptop and some time, and you can find deals on here for days. This is a great deal, okay? Let's talk about this deal for a second. Why is this a good deal? Well, it's been listed for four days, 150 for console, 20 for each game. I'd still try to get this whole thing for 150. But this game right here, he wants 20 bucks for it. Great, that's a $40 game. I'd gladly negotiate this game for $10 extra. This game right here, Super Smash Bros, $25, $30 game. I'd still negotiate this game for 10 bucks. You know what I mean? So I'd say, hey, I'll do... Uh, 140 for the console, 10 for each game, out the door. I pay the guy 170. All right. I resell this console for 150. I make back the lion's share of that. And I've got the, the Joy Cons and I've got my two games. I'm going to get 40 to 50 for the two of these. And I'm going to get 40 plus another 30. Right. So that's $110. Okay. So since I'm going to pay $20 for those lists, I'm. You're still going to come out of this with probably about, I'd say, 70, 80 bucks profit on this deal. Now, is, right? that a v, is that a V1 or a V2? I can't tell. And he only has this, like, really terrible photo and yeah. no image of the back of it. And okay. remember, guys, if you want to know um, if this were flipped over and we could see the back middle of the console, we could tell what model it is. But he hasn't done us any justice by uh, including that. So we just kind of have to take it at face value. I always assume that they're V2. Cause I don't like to get my hopes up. Um, but I would, I, I tell you what, I would offer this guy 125 and, uh, and if he suggests and 10, if he wants to haggle about the games and 10 for each game. Uh, but if he takes 125 for the whole deal, obviously take it. Um, but yeah, that's still a great opportunity. And so guys, again, you know, just, just preaching once more, the power of buying bundles and parting them out. Uh, there's some, I mean, it never gets old. It's consistently working. Uh, you can make some of the best margins I know in reselling electronics by focusing on this method and approach. And so uh, I just want to encourage you guys to continue to do so. Um, haven't looked in. Jerome, you're a little overdue to find a good deal in your area. And that's why I'm taking a little extra due diligence here because uh, I don't know. I just feel like not necessarily I owe you one, but you know, each time I go look in the Pacific, not the Pacific Northwest, but in the Northeast, I'm just like, dang it, there's, there's got to be some good deals out here. And that yeah. Nintendo Switch one is a pretty good one. Those Oculus deals, the first two, I think are also some pretty good opportunities. Yeah. Um, picture is awful. But if that's brand new in box with the plastic, it looks like the picture's telling me it's a 128. Brand new in box comes with upgraded head strap. So it's got an elite head strap, which for those of you that don't know, is a $60, 60 to $80 accessory when you buy it separate. This is in Worcester. I say that right? All what's right. the yep? Yeah, you said what's the yep? What's the what's Worcester? The there we go. Nice. Um, yeah, if this is actually brand new then you could probably buy this brand new and just flip it and make an easy hundo. Um, but I'd still try to get this for like 200 with the elite head strap. And, we, and would you um, break it up in pieces too? Cause it's new or keep 128. It yeah. I mean, you can, you can resell that headset at a hundred, well, 128 gigabyte headset for 200 easy. And then that means you got a hundred on each of the controllers, give or take. And then you got that elite head strap. The elite head strap is just going to help itself faster. So that's up to your discretion. Right. Um, I feel it. Let's look at it. 128 headset only with elite head strap. Let's let's see if there's a listing for this. Okay. Yeah. That's the bundle. Uh, see, met head headset with silicone protect. So this has got like an extra with it, and it sold for 230. 
So just kind of take that as like a cue that the potential here to sell it with an extra accessory is probably in the like 220 to 240 range. Okay. Um, and that's probably what I would do. I would list the head strap with it, sell it for about 230. All right, move it more quickly, get that money back, boom, boom. And then uh, sell both of my, my controllers and, you know, pocket about $200 off of that deal. Nice. Yeah, man. Uh, that's one of my favorite deals we found today. I think that's a good place to close. Okay. So. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. But I would, I would, uh, I would message that deal. And then the um, Nintendo switch deal we found there at the end um, promptly. So this, and, this last, this last deal, so I start off with 200 or 225 um, offer or. Yeah, definitely 200. 200. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, for sure. Okay. Hey, Hey, Matt. Yeah, go ahead. So I got, I got some real basic questions for you if you got a second. Um, Man, I do. Absolutely. Cool. So when we're talking about offer, like say like 250 on this one, you offer 200. And let's say your top price is 230. At what point, if they say, nope, I'm not looking for it, whether they come back with a counter offer or not, at what point, like, do you just do like one more and then you go from like the lowest point and then you go, well, I'm willing to do 230. They're still at 245. And then you say, you know what? I'll do 230, max offer. Or do you keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth with them a bunch? Or do you just go like one offer is like your lowest point? And if they're not even close to where you would offer max, you just offer your max and be done, call it a day. Like, how, yeah. do, how do you structure the negotiation on that? Yeah. Um... I mean, you can come at it from a couple different angles, okay? Uh, so for starters, uh, when I'm negotiating an item on OfferUp, all I do is just send an offer if it allows me uh, with a certain price, and I let people deal with it. If they hit me back, great. If they don't, I don't really worry about it. But if it's on Facebook, then um, usually I'm trying to get that in the ballpark. Like, I would want to get this for, like, 150 But I know that psychologically, a person is – probably not prepared for like that hard of a super low ball. Uh, Chris is getting these for about 130, but remember when Chris is pulling that price, it's because the people are coming to him, right? Um, and so that gives him leverage that when you're reaching out to somebody, you don't necessarily have that leverage in the conversation. So looking for these at like 250 or less and then asking, you know, $200 for it is, is trying to be as reasonable as I can to get the price that I want while still to some extent respecting that individual enough to where they still will talk to me, right? right. Um, so if, I mean, hands down, the lowest I'd probably take on this, I mean, think about it and think about the method I teach, buy the bundle, part it out. The anchor price that we're trying to get this for is for the same cost of the, the highest priced item within the, the bundle. So if it's this headset right here, and this headset resells for 200 to 220 and I buy and you still get that for about 220 you didn't make a bad deal and I think that's the that's what you got to keep in your head when you're having this conversation right yeah. is there's this appearance of allowing the other individual to think somehow that they're in control and they're still negotiating this conversation to get the price that they want I know how, what price I need to get it so I can still be profitable Right. Um, but allowing the conversation to go in a way that it makes them think that, that they won um, is the way that I want that conversation to go. Um, so if they countered hard and they were like 240, I'd be like, I I'm always going to find something else to blame. Right. And Chris talks about this classic third party like blame shifting. Listen, these are all over the place, but yours just looks a little more clean. I could do 210, but that's kind of about the best I could offer. And they say, all right, uh, 220. You know what I mean? I'm going to, I'm going to find three or four more excuses to walk that up $10 at a time from the $50 that I dropped the price down on. And each time that's how I'm going to orchestrate that conversation. Um, excuse counter excuse counter. That's how you do that. And that's how you just kind of negotiate, um, persistently with the customer. Uh, obviously if that deal breached and the highest I'm willing to pay is 225, then if they want 230, I'm probably not going to pay 230 for that. You're like, but it's five bucks. 
there's always another deal. Okay. Um, yeah, there's always another deal. And so I go into it with that in mind. Like, I don't need this item. I'm going to find another item in the next 24 hours, like probably without question, without exception. And I'm probably going to find it cheaper than you're going to sell it to me. So if you're that attached to price, that's fine. Uh, I think there's power in almost caring a little bit less and allowing that person to walk because it just kind of says, all right, well, you know, I'm not desperate. I'm not needy. And how many people like that have I negotiated with Has maybe Chris or other resellers negotiated with that eventually came around and were like, all right, you know, and, and that's happened. And sometimes it hasn't, but it's happened to me more times to know, like it's, it's worth sticking to your price. And I think at the end of the day, like you really have to be shrewd about I'm running a business. The worst thing I could possibly do is get in the habit of buying things and not paying the right price and somehow like losing money or not getting the margins that I need. So w- once I get the margins in my head, it's like, all right, cool. But I mean, the margins on these is still crazy. Like you guys could probably be buying these like in the 200 to 220 range. I just want you to realize that. But um you know, never get accustomed to paying more for something than it's actually worth because that's just, that's just silly. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Another, Chris another is right. Problem. It is, it is just a numbers game at the end of the day and your numbers, your numbers need to hit. But if you're getting a 40 to 60% ROI guys, that's still good. A 70 to hundred percent ROI is better. And in consoles, I'm telling you, you can almost do that. All right. They're coming back time. out, man. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate it. Watch my son. You have a good one. <laughs> All right, Jerome, sorry, you were asking a question. My apologies. Go ahead. No, I didn't ask a question. No, I, I had I had a second question. <laughs> oh, sorry. That was John. My bad. Yeah, Go ahead, John. Uh, um, okay, so when you're when you're gonna meet people doing it, I know like what Chris sort of teaches where having people come to you pretty much no matter what. And yeah. I know this is a little bit different because it's the reach out method versus the ad method, right? I'll just go with it that way. Um but when you're reaching out to them and they say, I'm only going to do, you know, at my front store, you know, at my front stoop, do you try to say, like, look at a Starbucks that's close to them or split the distance? Or you say, nope, you know what? There's a Starbucks five minutes from my house. This is where I'm meeting. Too bad if you don't want to meet me here. I'm not driving any further. I'm not driving any further. I don't care if you're half hour away, five minutes away in the opposite direction. Does like, not yeah. matter. This is what I'm doing. Yeah. I'm I think that. at this point, <laughs> go ahead even though i do the reach out method um yeah i don't go to anybody so they always come to me well because so. like you, you were showing that like you saw cleveland right in the one deal that you saw was in medina that's a half hour south so if i mm. do that one but then the other deal is like a half hour east of my house you know yeah. I, I could easily be driving you know half a day and then i have to go take into account gas <laughs> and i'm like sure yeah <laughs> So that's why I'm curious how. Yeah. So here's what I typically do on that, John. Usually whenever I close a deal and they're like half a mile or half an hour away, there's only 30 minutes, right? Um, I'll usually be like, hey, I'll buy you a gallon of gas if you bring it to me. I'm meeting multiple people at this location today. I'll buy you a gallon of gas if you bring it out to me. I usually haven't had much pushback with that. Now you can't say I'll pay you $5, right? Like that just doesn't work because $5 is nothing. But a gallon of gas or two gallons of gas where I'm at now, you know, is worth it, right? So gotcha. it, it's a it's a it's a um, it's a non-monetary bonus that they're gaining, and it works really well. I mean, you just put them like an extra five bucks on top of what you're already going to give them, and then be done with it. Mm-hmm. Yep, <laughs> I like that. I like that idea because I guess not close to us, and it's like, yeah, yeah, I don't. Yeah. Even if, 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 depending on if it's a reach out, if it's an ad, when Matt taught me this, I was like, I'm not going to people like, that's not what I do. Right. Like just, I meet everybody at a singular location at 12 and five every day. That's it. If they can't make it, I'm not buying it. Right. So, and you know, there, there's a power in that too. Like when you put your foot down and be like, no, these are the only times that I'm meeting, you know, that actually garners a little bit of respect from the other person. Um, you know, so, but yeah, yeah that, that's what I do. Um, I do it on reach out. I do it ads. And then last third question, quick one. Um, 
Are yeah. you trying to upsell when you do the reach out? Are you trying to upsell into phones, tablets, laptops, things like that, or even other councils? Or are you just going for the deal with the bundle? And right now that's what you're doing because it's much like more straight, you know, straightforward. No, yeah. You, now on a personal level, I'm not a full-time reseller, so I'm not, but if I were, cause I still work full-time, but yes, if, if I'm, if I'm anybody else, like <laughs> apart from essentially myself, like if you're trying to break into this, like full on, then absolutely upsell, like every time, tell everybody what you do, and then just kind of watch the pieces fall where they will. Um, because I mean, every, every customer you run into, whether it's reach out method, whether it's ads has a potential to become a return customer. Um, what if that person owns a pawn shop, right? What if they got friends they want to tell about that they sold something dope to you? And they were like, dude, this guy gave me 200 cash for, you know, my Nintendo switch with some games. You should sell your stuff too. Like that kind of stuff happens all the time. And if you treat people nicely, like it's bound to happen. So it's only going to do better things for you and your business. So you should always upsell regardless of the, of the interaction. Okay. Literally everybody's a customer. Um, now I'll, I'll answer that question because I do do that. Uh, usually what I do is if I close the deal, um, I'll actually go to their profile or if I don't close the deal as well, I will go to their, their marketplace commerce profile and I'll see what else they have. And then like if they have some other electronics that I might be interested in, I'll go back to the conversation and be like, hey, what if I buy this, this and that for this price? Would that work for you? So now if offering to buy three different items from them, they get more money. Um, and that's another way you can close the deal too and make a lot more money. So um, yeah, there's more, you upsell on everything, John, literally everything. Okay. Yeah. So sorry, uh, John, since you asked those questions, let me go back. I'm just gonna go back to one of these deals I sent to you. Okay, yeah. uh, copy this link. I'll go back to Facebook over here since I still have it up. Post that link, go back to the item. Right, and then look at this person's profile and- Go ahead and click on it. This guy has obviously sold other stuff on here before and he doesn't have any specific other electronic listings, but in the event that he did, or you can do the same thing with offer up, right? You click on somebody's profile and see what else they have listed. Like it's same difference, right? And you can see, oh, this person had a camera. Oh, cool, right? And they've got other items. Like that's all, that's all day, every day through the reach out method of, uh, you know, just pre-gaming the deal, uh, taking in everything that you can observe from your surroundings and just being smart about how you orchestrate these conversations and interactions with people. And so, yeah, definitely look at their profiles, look at the other items that might have listed and be aware of the power of taking one customer and turning them into a return customer. Uh, Cause that return business is really, I think I love the ad stuff that Chris teaches, but I'm just going to tell you guys, I think the very best thing that Chris teaches is how to create residual business, right? <laughs> Chris isn't trying to teach you guys how to score one-off deals and be like a one hit wonder. He's trying to teach you how to become a business person. And so uh, really take that into account. Cause it's really, really good advice. Okay. Thanks dude. Cool. Yeah, man. Oh, I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, man. Good Bye. questions. All right. Um, anybody else before we wrap up? We are a little past five, um, but I'm feeling feeling generous here in this post Christmas day <laughs> or days. <laughs> All right, cool. Well, I want to encourage you guys to continue looking in your area. Remember, people do list things when they aren't working. So if you're not checking your area's reach out method in the evening or uh, Friday nights going into Saturday morning, there are deals upon deals. People right now are trying to get paid from probably having overspent in the holidays or they got a new model and it's out with the old and with the new. Who wants the old? We do, we want it. I don't care what old console you have. I'm interested in all of that. And every time a new model comes out, which it does in Q4, it's, this is the sweet thing. It means that going into Q4, the new models are releasing. In Q4, they've released. And post Q4 going into Q1, we have all these extra items. So it's like Q4 and Q1 are incredible. Because think about it, like you've got all this activity, like, right, it's, it's just just trajectory screaming upwards, going into Q4 and the sales, but then also the opportunities of what you can purchase coming out of Q4 is crazy. So if you're playing your cards right and just being 
you know, diligent with the way you do the reach out method, the way you post ads, um, you should be getting a nice little surge of business or noticing a surge of opportunities online in every marketplace, Facebook, offer up Craigslist. Um, yeah. So just get those reps in guys and grow your business. Cause now is a great chance to do so. And there are deals all over the place. Uh, today serves as evidence of that. And uh, if any of those turn out for you guys, then please post and share your wins in the group. All right. Awesome. Appreciate cool. That. Yeah, right. man. Ads call tomorrow. Guys, See you guys. Be well. See you guys tomorrow for the ads call, ads, KPIs, you name it. Um, if you need help, come to the call or reach out. So um, anyway, guys, peace out. See you later, Matt. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys.